This is the genetics lab video, how to isolate DNA from your Arabidopsis leaf sample. So uh, you've already collected your Arabidopsis leaf, you've marked the plant with a, uh, a little flag, a little toothpick with a flag on it so you can uh, go back to it if you need to. Hopefully you've taken a picture of it. Um, and you put your leaf in a microcentrifuge tube, and so here it is. If you're not going to use it right away, literally right away, you want to keep it cold, okay? So get it on some ice. So here's the leaf. We want to do everything uh, aseptically, even though we're not dealing with uh, bacteria right now, which means we're going to be careful and use standard aseptic technique. It's because we're about to do PCR, and we want to make sure we're amplifying the DNA that we care about. Uh, and no contaminants. And so what we need to do is we are going to grind up this leaf sample to get the DNA out of it. And what we're going to use is uh, a mortar and a pestle. And the mortar is going to be this microcentrifuge tube. The pestle uh, is going to be this very small pestle. Um, they will be pre-sterilized for you. Uh, these are not disposable, they're reusable. We, uh, you'll clean them and then we will re-sterilize them for their next use. And what you're going to do is, with nothing in here but the leaf, what you're going to do is you're going to take your pestle, your pestle and just grind your leaf into tiny little fragments. Do this for at least a good two minutes, up and down, grinding it on the sides of the tube until you get these fragments as small as possible. You really want to mash it into tiny, tiny little pieces. The smaller you make it, the more really just mashed into tiny fragments that you make it, the better results you're going to get, the more DNA you're going to get. So you really, really want to mash it up. You don't want to go too uh, quickly. You want to take a good two minutes doing this. And so we've got our sample really mashed up in here. We're going to leave the pestle inside that and set it aside. And then we're going to add our buffer. Our buffer is just going to be sterile water. So we're going to add uh, 200 microliters of sterile water. So you'll need a P1000 for that or a P200, either one will work. And we'll have sterile water for you to use. I have it in this uh, bottle, but we'll give you something. And add it right into the tube. Now, spend another two minutes mashing it up in the water. Just really crushing it, making sure you get all of it. And it smells like grass now. The more that you do, the more DNA you get, the better chance of successful PCR and better chance you have of identifying the mutant, having your data end up being used someday in some real research. Because of course you know we're actually dealing with real mutants. This isn't a, a put up lab. All right, so I'm gonna stop this now, but you make sure you do it for a good two solid minutes. So this, uh, you're going to clean and reuse, so we're gonna set this aside and we have smashed, mashed, homogenized Arabidopsis leaf. And so the next step is to take some of this uh, and add it to Instagene. Now you may find that pipetting 50 microliters of this directly insta in into the Instagene is difficult um, because it's a little uh, clumpy. If you can pipette this directly, go ahead. Uh, if you can't, what you can do is a quick spin in a microcentrifuge, and so we'll do that here just to see what it looks like. So we have a 
a microcentrifuge here. Make sure you have make sure you have a balance. So we have a balance set up. You put the lid on. The quick spins are done with the button in between the two knobs. It'll only spin for as long as you press down the button. So we'll just hold it down no more than 10 seconds. Just let it spin up for a few seconds and let it spin back down. It's just to get the lar large chunks that will um, uh, clog up the pipette tip out of the way. That's all we want. And what you will see is this. And so we have a pellet, and those are the leaves that, uh, the leaf chunks that uh, you didn't quite mash up all the way, or I didn't in this case. But you can tell the liquid is still very, very green. Lots of uh, really mashed up leaf in there. And so that's perfect. And so then we get some Instagene, which will be uh, for you, ready for you, pre aliquoted on ice. And so ha here we have some Instagene. This is just like the Instagene you used at the beginning of the uh, semester. Instagene, of course, pulls away all of the stuff uh, that, that can uh, make doing um, PCR uh, problematic. Pulls away metals, right? And so the Instagene is actually these little beads, right? Okay, so it's pre aliquoted at 50 microliters. I'm sorry, 500 microliters. We're going to add 50 microliters of our sample. So let's do that. After the uh, quick spin, that'll be very. Oh, got cut off there. Okay, so after the quick spin, uh, adding the Instagene is uh, adding the 50 microliters to the Instagene is going to be very easy. So what we'll do is we will just take out 50 microliters. We will pipette it off. pellet. And add it right to the Instagene. All right. We're going to take this, give it a quick vortex to mix it up. Then we're going to put it at 95 degrees for five minutes to open up the cells, break them open and let the Instagene do its work, taking out the metals, make the DNA available for PCR, and then five minutes in the microcentrifuge uh, to uh, repellet the Instagene. After that, we will come back here. All right, so uh, we have added our DNA to the Instagene. It incubated at 95 degrees for five minutes to break open the cells and then activate the Instagene to pull away all the metals. We then spun it for five minutes at 10,000 uh, to uh, pull down the Instagene beads and pellet them. Now you gotta remember that these Instagene beads are very, very, uh, uh, this is a very, very loose pellet. And so we gotta be very gentle with this. And so we're gonna just put it down gently. If we shake it or move it too much, those beads will start to float up and we don't want that. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab a nice fresh tube and then we always pour them out, never reach in. And we're going to set our pipette man for 100 microliters. And we will just very gently pop this open and we will just skim off the top 100 microliters. Make sure you're skimming it off the top very gently. We don't want any beads. And we will put it in one of these brand new tubes. And now you have 100 microliters of Arabidopsis DNA from your mutant. So label this tube. Uh, this is more than enough to do all the PCR reactions uh, that you'll probably need to set up. If you need more than 100 microliters, you, you can probably take more. But uh, this should be far, far more than you need. Um, 
and a, a safe amount to take off of that Instagene uh, tube as long as you're careful. Make sure you label that tube.